Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome to episode 1 of European Versalis Luck of the Irish campaign, uh, where we'll be playing as Tyrone in an attempt to conquer all of the British Isles and uh, core it as an Irish uh, Irish nation. You will not believe the the the, uh, the amount of times so I have re-recorded this first episode. I think it, this is about the fourth or fifth time. Um, where I've got multiple episodes in, only to then be crushed by England. So, it's not great. And the last episode, uh, sorry, the last try, was a mistake of horrific proportions. I'd conquered all of Ireland apart from Leinster, Pale, and Ulster. England were in multiple wars, which they were losing. And I thought, okay, I'll conquer, uh, uh, I'll, I'll jump in and try and try and get something so yeah it turns out that actually you know they might be in multiple wars and losing but they still had a, a big stack here scotland's army went straight down here england's army went up here and conquered me and um took everything and by everything i mean everything they took the whole of ireland instantly ending the game for me um which was i was so upset <laughs> as you might imagine um so learning from mistakes that, that is pretty much what this uh this campaign is going to be about i think um but anyway let's not dwell on that so what we're going to do now is essentially similar like last last time we allied actually allied with england and then initially and then allied with scotland afterwards because england are actually protective of us at the moment so that might not be such a bad idea to do again. Um, so I'm going to instantly ally with England. I'm going to get a thing to remove Ulster from the map. And I'm going to build myself an infantry and a cavalry. I'm going to get rid of these cogs because I don't need them. I'm going to rename this North Sea. I've got this sort of intro. I've repeated it so many times. <laughs> you would not believe. Um, well, obviously not the same each time. But, like, I've gone through the same processes. You know, like, allying this person, taking this quest, doing this, that, and the other. Ugh. It's tiresome. Um, so we'll ally Ulster, because we've got the mission for them. We'll ally Sligo. Um, because while... Um, we're dealing with Ulster, we'll start a spy network in Sligo, so we can get a fabricate claim and do two wars back to back. Because that's essentially what I did. So by, like, the middle of the th second episode, I had conquered most of Ireland. So if you sort of set up a spy network while you're doing, um, while you're in your existing war, you can actually get pretty far pretty fast. So I think I'm going to stick with England for much longer this time. Not be smart about it. It depends largely who they who they get as a uh, as allies over in Ireland. But we won't. We'll try not to do anything stupid <laughs> this time. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so we're allied with England and see how we go. Um, we'll crank it up to speed five for a second, just until this cavalry is out. See, this happened last time. Independence guaranteed by Scotland. Okay, they're allied with England now. So, instantly. That is that done. And we have to pick somebody else to, uh, to go against. So we'll probably go against Kildare, I guess. Oh, this is just very annoying. Although they are given the subsidies, so I can't argue too much. Thank you, our uh, benevolent overlords. That is an absolutely awful general. My ruler is terrible. So it looks like England are pretty much hard set to try and ally multiple um, 
one province milers in Ireland. Because in my last few games, they, they allied all... Well, it was either Ulster or Tyrone when I wasn't playing as Tyrone and Leinster. Right, so I now have 20... Ooh. 20, uh, what's it called? Oh, uh, mine's got blank. 20 spy, uh, spy network power, I guess. So I'll, uh, I got the fabricate claim and quick war. Like these, the, the good thing is your first few wars are so, so quick. Um, it takes no time at all. I'm going to claim all that as stuff I want. Um, inflation's fine at the moment. It doesn't really affect me too much. I think this probably... This, this achievement probably would have been a lot easier in past expansions. Reason being is because you didn't have to worry about sailors. Um, like you could, once you could just start steamrolling. Once you like conquered all of Ireland, you could start like getting a sizable, a decent sized navy. Whereas now, because of the limit on sailors, it's actually pretty damn hard to do that. So it, it, it extends the game a decent bit, but. We'll just play this game slowly, slowly, um, and uh, see how we go. Right, Siege of Sligo. Wait, so we've now got... See what I mean about back-to-back -back wars? We now have a claim on Kildare. So we will end this war. Increase our autonomy there. And I guess we could pretty much instantly go to war with Kildare. And we'll start getting a spy network in Clam Ricard. Otherwise known as Canal. Come on, there we go, stack wipe. Stack wipe. So actually, it shouldn't take me too long. Okay. Uh, rival of our rival, no. Solidify papal relations, no. Don't really care about that. So actually, it won't take us too long to get to the same point that we were in my last go at this, which I was I was only halfway into episode two, so it doesn't take very long at all. But it's immensely frustrating when you've spent like a few like what's probably about two hours just repeating the same thing over and over again it's a little bit annoying but hey ho can't do anything about that the, the good thing is actually yeah we'll do that is that Leinster are currently they're improving relations with England, but they're not allied to them. So what I'm going to do is start building a spy network in Leinster and maybe try and get Leinster pretty fast. Because I haven't seen um, England ally anyone else but Ulster and Leinster. Or, well, Tyrone, Ulster and Leinster. They haven't bothered with anyone else. So maybe I might be lucky. I'd be able to get Leinster before England ally them, which will just make it a pain in the ass to get off them. Because normally they vassalize either Ulster or Leinster once they've allied them. I've noticed. 
Right, so that's done. Canal is done. Let's start building a spy network. Actually, no. I forgot I need to recall my uh, diplomat. I think I'll leave him here for a second because there we go. That's just ended. Mine, all mine. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> right, so I can add, make that state rather than territory. Ooh, who just gave me a gift? Well, I almost certainly it was England. Money, money, money. So I guess what I could do with that, I'm going to build to build me some nice barks. So increase my... Uh, I did build a bark, didn't I? Yeah, two barks. Build some... Um, increase my trade. So build, start building a spy network in Limerick as well. And Kildare can start being cored as well. And we'll wait a little bit now. Leinster is the one I... Although I've got a core on the Clamour card. Um, Leinster is the one I want to go for next. Because England are also improving relations with them. Which means that there's probably not long... Before they... Try and... Uh, vassalize them. Take Leinster. There we go. Will I have to chase you? I will. Good, good, good. Okay, so this is already... This campaign is actually already going slightly better than the last one. It's, they've got progressively better. <laughs> like my first one, I was Clamour Card, and I got Sligo and Limerick. Or Sligo, Sligo, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But I got that in Limerick. And then England were just in particularly aggressive stance, I guess. And they just immediately came through and annihilated uh, everyone in their path. Couldn't do anything about it. However, this one is going slightly better. Seal of Confession. Religious institutions are considered sacrosanct and above the petty plots and schemes of countries and spies. That This is why it's crucial to inf infiltrate them. Many secrets that would never be spoken aloud are told in confidence to religious authorities, which the practice of confession has even turned into an ins institution. A church in one of the countries we have focused our espionage efforts on has presented an unprecedented opportunity to exploit this. One of our loyal agents, posing as a nun in a local convent, has found that she can overhear the conversations from confessionals while doing chores in the church. While she is likely to escape detection, the plan would outrage religious authorities if discovered. Nah, I don't really need it at the moment. So it's not worth taking the chance, especially since I don't know what the, uh, the, the sort of... Um, the consequences. Both our ships are almost done. There we go. There we go. Right, as soon as these join together, I'll send them off to the North Sea. Ta-da! How... I guess we could build. thing is, I, I want to also get us a, a navy. How many sailors do they use? A hundred. Wow. Um, I think... What do I want? I'm just going to build barks for the moment, I think. Increase the amount of money I'm making. Because the sieges aren't that long. With the, the low fort levels, it, the Having the, um, like, no fleet doesn't make it too bad to siege down still. Come on. Come on, Leinster. Oh, that's nice. Manpower is just what I needed. 
Right, so now that we've got Leinster, we can sort of slow down a bit. You sort of go, uh, right at the start, you sort of go half for leather, trying to, um, you know, Uh, Clamor card, and who else do we want? Thromond. Where we will get a Fabricate Claim. Thank you muchly. And then we will go to Build Spy Network there. Awesome. Uh, let's go back and improve relations with England again. Um, yeah, so what I normally did was, uh, hmm. um, yeah, just go half a leather, try and get as much as possible. And then I think in the last episode or the last try, last campaign, when I tried it, I sort of went, uh, tried going a bit too fast. So r once I'd conquered most of Ireland, rather than sitting back and going, wait, what do I do now? I was just like, blood, I want blood. So I immediately went after Ulster, Pale, and Leinster, and that was what screwed me, essentially. However, slowly, slowly, um, we should be fine. Providing that England... Okay, they're improving relations with England, but England aren't improving relations with them, so we've got a little while. We'll be fine. Uh, you can protect trade in the North Sea again. So how much money are we actually making from trade now? Let's turn the speed down a tap. Uh, we are making 0.71, so it's going up a decent amount. I think it starts off at like 0 0.6, something like that. But we do need to wait for uh, our manpower reserves to recover. So that might take a while. However, I'm uh, not particularly fond of waiting for um, England to... Uh, I don't want England to vassalize or in any way, you know, ally. Um, any of the other Irish OPMs. Like, even with these three more provinces, I'm still going to be relatively weak, so... So what's going to happen? I think at the moment we'll just wait until we get a bit more manpower back. Although this is going to take a long-ass time, isn't it? Hmm... Yeah, it's gonna take it's gonna take a good while. Um, what can I do in the meantime with the spare diplomat? So who England allied with? They're allied with Austria, Portugal. Let's improve relations with Portugal. Why not? No reason not to. My general is dead. Which leaves me with my extremely crappy ruler. <laughs> Oh dear, but I'm certainly not going to be uh, taking him as a, as a general, I'd get a new general, but I don't really want to spend too much uh, military power. Actually, you know what, I'm going to swap my advisor so I have more military power, because I need to catch up. Because I'm about 50 points behind, because I had to recruit a general, rather than using my, uh, my ruler. But I think most people use their rulers, don't they? Yeah. Oh no, actually, no he hasn't. He's recruited his own. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here for a little while and uh, wait for my um, thing to come back. Uh, Cork, Desmond. Right, so I now have a claim. Joy of joys. Um, so I can remove you. So what do I perhaps want to do next, I wonder? Hmm. Let's... Did I not have a mission for... Oh, I've still... I'm using... I'm currently on a mission. Hmm. What could I do? 
not really much I can do at the moment. Other than with that remaining diplomat. I guess, I'll tell you what, I'll just send them to Castile. Can't hurt. Lose mercantilism. Joke's on you. I didn't have that much anyway. <laughs> right, so what I'll do is I'll, I think I'll end the episode here. Um, and in the next episode, we'll get some more manpower back. And we will go for... We'll take down... I mean, I guess we could go for... Uh, move my army here. I guess we could go for uh, Thromund. Uh, Thromund. Because they've just gotten a war, so their army is relatively weak. So I'm going to recruit a general. We'll go for them, and then we can get two in one war, which would be nice. I know it's going to make us fail our mission. Um, which I'll just cancel now. So in the uh, beginning of the next episode, I'll tell you what, just so I remind myself, I'm going to uh, declare that war um, now. There we go. That's just what I wanted to happen. The bloodthirst got the better of me. And rather than patiently waiting, I just went all in. Um, okay, so I'll end the episode here. And in the next episode, we'll finish off this war. And also, take Cork, I imagine. Um, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Take care.